Wow. I earned different cryptocurrencies on my $50 Raspberry Pi. To see that one of them was profitable surprised me a lot. So see what's different in earning a $150 coin down to a $0.2 coin down to a $0.0001 coin. And that one is really crazy. You can even earn cryptocurrencies on an Arduino for less than $10. But what do you think? Is it better to go for a lot of cheap coins or can I make more money with one big? Let's register and see what's going on here. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely here to make money. Okay, this coin is not made for profit. So let's go on and see if I can pass the quiz anyway. Okay, seems like they don't see it so serious. So let's see what we have to do to earn something. Ah, we need to install a miner. Quick explanation by sight, what is a miner? Let's say Tom wants to send money to Ben. In traditional systems, he has to send it over a bank and the bank has to do the accounting of the transaction. Cryptos can we send directly without a bank. But who is doing the accounting now? To do a transaction, a complex math problem needs to be solved and this operation is distributed to all miners. The first person who solved this can write the new block to the blockchain. And for doing exactly this, you get a permission. And this is what we call mining. To install the miner, I set up a fresh installation of my Pi. If you don't know how this works, I'll give you a link in the description of the video. And then just follow the step-by-step -step guide, install packages, clone GitHub and run the miner. That was simple, but the coin is really cheap. We will see in some days if it's pay off. For now, let's see if a setup for a $0.2 coin is more complex. The coin we will go for is called Myst. This coin is what you earn when you support the Mysterium VPN network. But what is a VPN? Let's say Tom want to send a message to Ben. Normally he does it directly over the internet, but the disadvantage is for doing it this way, it's not encrypted and it can be localized with this IP. Different to this is the use of a VPN. The message gets encrypted and sent over VPN nodes, so you cannot see where the message is coming from. What we do is to provide a node to the network. So let's see what we have to do when we want to set up a VPN node. On the website we press onboard and download the new image and bring the image to the Pi, connect the Pi to the LAN. After starting the Pi, Musk's network search for a new node. In my case this didn't work automatically so I had to set up the manual mode. Some things like the email address were already set. Now we need to add a wallet. There's a link inside of the description if you don't have one which is compatible to that. Now the node setup is finished. You see now the prices for the services. I will leave the basic settings and we will see in some days what's happening if someone uses my node. Different to the mining, I cannot start an activity by my own, so I have to rely on the users which are using the network. So let's give the network some days and we will go for the Monero. And the Monero is quite expensive. Or not in compared to a Bitcoin, but in compared to the coins we had before. And this makes me really curious about the overall earnings. So we will install the wallet and then we can mine the Monero. But as I started the installation, this was happening. So I had a really hard fight with my antivirus, but after the installation everything works fine. I write a new 64-bit image to the SD card and now I need to install the miner. But this time it takes really longer than the other ones. And as long as we are waiting, you can subscribe to my channel. So I put you the Linux commands inside of the description of the video and we will see you in three days about the earnings. Okay, time is over and I'm really curious about what I earned in the time. But before we check this, we have to talk about the cost because you don't get anything for free in life. And this is the energy you need to run your Pi. And in my case, it cost me around two cents a day. So. When I earn more than two cents a day, I make profit and if I make less, I spend money for the energy. Let's start checking with the cheapest one, the Duino coin. And I thought I will earn a lot of coin because it's so cheap. But after three days, I only earned 4.5 Duino. What is simply nothing. I checked the benchmark page and I figured out that the average for the Pi 3 is 5 Duco a day. And even the way faster Pi 4 didn't earn more. 
Honeywise, the Arduino with way less hash rate should reach four or five times more. Maybe I try it again with the Arduino rig and use 10 times the Arduino and we will see what's coming out. Let's come to the most expensive coin, the Monero. And my Pi 3 gives me around 15 hashes a second, which means I'm earning around 12 nano Moneros an hour. Just for interest, I run a Pi 02 W to compare it. And did you any reason? It beat the Pi 3. But after three days, I earned around six micro Moneros. What is also nothing. My research told me that with a Pi 4, you can reach around 10 times higher hash rates, which still release in nothing. Let's come to the winner of the competition. Wow. Before we check how many dollars I made, just the hint, this is not a scalable solution. So everything you do, you can only do it once on your Raspberry because you're supporting the VPN network and therefore you need an IP address. And if you add now a new computer to this, you have still the same, so you cannot earn more with more Raspberry Pis. And this is not a final advice at all. But now, check the income and this is around 81 cent during five days so i spent 10 cent for energy this means i earned 71 cent during this time and this without overloading my raspberry pi 3 and while your pi 3 is now running for free you can use them to make other services for you like set them up a network storage i explain this here